Want to run AI image, video, or audio 100% locally? No subscriptions and no more waiting in queues. Meet Comfy UI. Hey, what's up? This is Jal from Jal's AI Show and welcome back to another very exciting AI tutorial. Today, we'll walk through the step-by-step -step installation of Comfy UI along with Comfy UI Manager and some essential models to get you up and running. So without any further ado, let's get started. I've put together all the steps and download links you'll need on my Patreon page. It's completely free. Just check the link in the description below. We'll go through everything together one step at a time. So let's start by Git. Click on the download link. Once the download is finished, just double click to launch it. The installation process is really straightforward. You can basically just keep clicking next through most of the steps. But there's one important setting you need to change. When you get to the configuration options, make sure to select Use Windows Default Console Window. This is crucial since we'll be using the portable version of Comfy UI. After that, you can continue clicking through until the installation completes, and you'll be all set. Next, install Python 3.12. This version works best with Comfy UI and avoids compatibility issues with certain nodes. Download it, run the installer, and make sure to check. Add Python to path before installing. That's it. All right, let's grab Comfy UI from GitHub. Scroll down to find the direct link to download the portable version. When choosing where to install this, pick a fast SSD with at least 50 gigs free. Ideally, an NVMe drive and avoid your C drive to keep your system running clean. Once you've picked the perfect spot, extract the file using WinRAR or 7-zip. The next step is to update ComfyUI. To do this, navigate to the update subfolder and execute the file named update ComfyUI in Python dependencies. This will ensure that all necessary dependencies are up to date and that everything is running on the latest version giving you the best performance and compatibility. Now, let's move to the next step, installing Comfy UI Manager. This incredible tool will simplify your workflow significantly, and we'll be using it frequently in upcoming tutorials. Whenever we need a custom workflow, the Comfy UI Manager will automatically download all the required files, eliminating the need for manual downloads. To install it, run the file named install manager for portable version.bat. Right click it and select save linked content as or save as depending on your browser. Save it directly into the ComfyUI Windows portable directory. Once saved, double click the file. If prompts, click more info and then select run anyway to proceed. Next, you'll need a model. When you first launch ConfUI, it will prompt you for a base stable diffusion model. By default, it downloads one automatically when you start your first queue. But here's the best part, you're not limited to that default option. You can use any model you like. To save time, unset up a high quality model before launching ConfUI. We'll grab one from Civit AI, a fantastic resource for AI models. Here are my top recommendations. For Stable Diffusion 1.5, which is best for resolutions around 512 by 512 try Realistic Vision or Cyber Realistic. Both deliver stunning, lifelike results. For SDXL, which are optimized for 1024 by 1024 resolutions, go with Juggernaut XL, DreamShaper XL or Realistic Vision XL for sharper, more detailed outputs. There's also more powerful model which is Flux, but we'll cover that in a future video, since it's a bit more advanced. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Each model page on Civit AI showcases sample images and community creations made by that same model. This will help you pick the perfect one for your needs. After downloading your model, simply move it into the Comfy UI folder, then navigate to the Models subfolder and finally place it inside the checkpoints. This ensures Comfy UI can detect and use it properly, without any extra setup. If you're already using Forge or Automatic 11.11, 11, 
chances are you've downloaded several AI models, and these files can be massive, often ranging between 6 gigs to over 10 gigs per model. Instead of creating duplicate files, you can save space by linking ConfiUI directly to your existing models. Here's how. Navigate to your ConfiUI folder and find the file named extramodelpaths.yaml.example. Right-click it and open it with Notepad. Inside, look for the base path setting and update it to point to your Forge or Automatic 1111 model folder. Once edited, rename the file by removing the .example extension, leaving just extramodelpaths.yaml. That's it, ComfyUI will now automatically detect and use your existing models without wasting storage on duplicates. Now let's fire up ComfyUI and generate our first image using a basic text-to-image workflow. For NVIDIA GPU users, always run NVIDIA GPU for significantly faster performance. So after running ConfiUI, click on Workflow, Browse from Templates. Select the Image Generation Template. You might see a notification about missing models, including an option to download the basic SD1.5 model. We can ignore this since we already installed a better alternative. I'll be using Dragonaut Excel for this demonstration. But feel free to select whichever model you prefer from your checkpoints folder. After that, I'll select the recommended size and case sampler settings provided by the model itself. To do this, I'll go back to the Juggernaut page, choose my model version, and click Show More to find the suggested settings. So I'll be using a resolution of A32 by 1216. For the sampler, I'll choose DPM M2 SDE with a Keras scheduler, 40 steps, and a CFG of 3. Let's generate the default prompt, which is Beautiful scenery, nature, glass bottle landscape, purple galaxy bottle. Then I'll run the queue by clicking run or use the shortcut control enter. Of course you can enter any prompt you like. Let's try a portrait of a little boy wearing sunglasses. I'll also enhance it with terms like high quality, realistic, detailed, masterpiece, cinematic. As you can see, it's working perfectly. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my Patreon to support the channel. See you in the next one.